continue now at the top of Daf Lamed Dalad Amid Beza Maseches Beza. This is Beza Daf 34b. The Mishnah continues Rabbi Eliezer's statement: Erev Shabbos Bishvius on Friday and a Shemitah, your person can stand by his storage. The Omer and he says, "Mikan ani ochel amacha." From here, I'm going to eat tomorrow. The idea is this stuff was put into storage. You weren't meant. To, you weren't going to use it. So now you're designating and you're saying, "No, this entire area, I'm going to partake from this area on Shabbos, and that's fine." The Chachamim Omer and the Chachamim say, "Atchay Yerusham." No, you have to make a simon. You have to indicate exactly what you're taking. You can't say from this entire area, "I'm going to take something." The Yomer Mikan Viad Khan. You have to say from here until here, this particular area, I'm going to use on Shabbos. Rashi over here says, "Erev Shabbos B'Shvias on Friday of a Shemitah year." Why Shemitah year? Shein Meiser Noeg, because the point is that you don't have to take off Meiser. Vein Mechuser El Hasmona. So all you need to do is designate and say you're going to take from this food. She says the Mishnah could have also been talking about food that already you took off Meiser, or in other years, not in a Shemitah year. We're just uh, choosing the conventional case. Most of the time, when you have something in storage, so you didn't take off Meiser. Because let's say you have dried, uh, let's say you have dried figs, or let's say you, you have dried grapes. So those are generally considered Muksa. You don't really take off Meiser till the Molochah finished, in other words, till it's fully dry, ready to be eaten, then you're going to take off Meiser. So you have a, here you have a situation, you didn't take off Meiser, so how are we going to avoid that problem? In order to avoid that problem, we say it's a Shemitah year, and again, on Friday, you're going to designate and say, I'm designating this and using this for Shabbos, uh, or for Yontif. So according to the to Rebbe Eliezer, you can say, I'm taking from the entire storage area, and we say, Breira, whatever you choose, so retroactively, that's what you chose all along. And the Chachamim say, Atshe Yer Shom, no, you have to specifically say which food you're going to take. Besimon, you have to make a sign, the ain Breira, because the Chachamim do not hold of Breira. And the Gemara says, Tanan Hasam, we learned in a mission over there. This is a mission in Maestros. Tinokos Shatamnu Ta'ina Meir of Shabbos. Let's say you have children, they hid figs from Erev Shabbos. Vishachachu Velo Isru. And they forget and they don't take off the, the Maeser. So Lamatsai Shabbos Lo Yochlu Elim Kain Isro. So on Matsai Shabbos, they can't eat the figs unless they take off Maeser. In other words, the idea over here is that normally if you have an Achila Sarai, a snack, you don't have to take off Maeser. But Shabbos is Koveya, that's considered an Achilas Keva. That's considered like a real meal. And therefore, you have to take off Meiser. And the Chiddush over here is, even if you didn't eat it on Shabbos, even if you wait until Motsoi Shabbos, they still have to take off the Meiser. There's a Kvias over here for Meiser. Nami, we learned in a mission also, Hamavir Te'inim Bechatseiro, Liktsos. Let's say somebody puts some figs in his chutzri, he wants to dry them out, make them dried figs. Bono Vuvune Beso Ochlin Mehen. So his children are allowed to eat from them. Arai, they can eat as a snack. Upturim, and it's potter from Meiser. Again, the idea is Achilas Arai, you don't have to take off Meiser. And so the Gemara continues, Boy Minei Ravamir of Nachman. Rav asked Rav Nachman the following question. Shabbis Mao Shetikva Muksa Lemeiser Bedover Shalonigmer Malachto. Let's say you have a situation where you have something in the muks that's in storage, and it was low nigmar malachto, it's not a fully finished product, so is Shabbos koveya that, that it's now chayv to take off meiser. Mi amrinon, do we say kevin dechsev, since the Pasuk says v'korosel Shabbos oneg, that Shabbos should be called a delight, so kava, so therefore it's going to be koveya, and it's chayv in meiser v'afilu bedover shalom nigmar malachto even if you're talking about something where it's not a finished product, the malach is not finished o dilmar maybe bedover shalom nigmar malachto kava, by something where there's a gemar malacha, so then we say that Shabbos is koveya. However, bedover shalom nigmar malachto lo kava. If it's something which is not a finished product, so then Shabbos is not koveya. It's not chayiv and meister. So Amar Le, so he said to him, Shabbos kovas bein bedover shalom nigmar malachto bein bedover shalom nigmar malachto. Shabbos is koveya. Whether it's something where the malach is finished or not, it's going to be koveya. It's chayiv and meister. So Amar Le, so he said to him, Ve'ema Shabbos domi the chotzer. Why should we say that? Maybe Shabbos is the same as a chotzer. Ma chotzer ino kovas el bedover shenigmar malachto. Just like a chotzer is only koveya by an item where the process is finished. Av Shabbos lo tikva el bedover shenigmar malachto. Maybe the same thing is true on Shabbos. It's only koveya by something where there's a gemar malacha. Amar Le said back to him, Limur aruchu biyadeinu. This is a set. A halacha that we know, Shabbos kovas bein bedavar shenigmar malachto bein bedavar shalom nigmar malachto. Shabbos is koveya whether there's a gemar malacha or not a gemar malacha. Amar Marzutra Breder of Nachman and the Gemara continues. Marzutra, the son of Rav Nachman, says, 
We also learned this in our Mishnah. What does it say in our Mishnah? It says, Further, Rabbi Eliezer says, What are you doing? You're standing over the storage area on Friday and saying, I'm going to eat from this particular stuff. And uh, the Gemara now infers, time of The only reason this is allowed is because it's Shemitah year. The lav bari suriyu. There's no chiv of meiser. Habishar shnei shavua hachinami diaser. But on, on other years, it's going to be a problem to do this because you're going to have to take off meiser, which you're not allowed to do on Shabbos. My time. What's the reason? Lav mishum the Shabbos kava. The reason is because since you're designating it for Shabbos, so Shabbos is koveya a chiv of meiser even in this item, which is not nigmar malachto. And so the Gemara says, lo, no, not necessarily. It could be that the chiv meiser over there has nothing to do with Shabbos. Shani haasam kaven daam. It could be it's different over there because if the day before, if on Friday you're saying I'm eating from this, you're designating it for, for eating purposes, so that creates the kvias itself, even if it was a weekday. It doesn't matter that it's Shabbos or a weekday. Once you designate it as food, so then you're going to be koveya and there's a chi of meiser. But the Gemara says, if so, my year your Shabbos. So what did you have to give us a case over here of Shabbos? You could have had the exact same case by a weekday as well. And Rashi over here explains, the time of Mishum Diburehu. If the reason why it's Chayv and Meiser is because he designated and he said he's going to use this as food, so Mayir Shabbos, why do you have to teach this on Shabbos? Mayir Yadashmin on Hach B'Shabbos, why do you have to teach us this halacha about Meiser on Shabbos? Lishmin and Bechol of a Seder Zroim, put it on a weekday and teach it to us in Seder Zroim. If you want to have a machlokas by Breira, do like we did earlier, have a, have a machlokas by designating Gozalos, designating these birds. We had such a machlokas already. Why do you have to mix it up with the situation of designation for Meiser? And so the Gemara answers, Hakamash Malon, the Tevel Muchon waits al Shabbos. The reason why we teach this case on Shabbos is for a different Chiddush to teach us that Tevel is considered Muchon. Tevel is not considered Muksa when it comes to Shabbos. Shim Ovar Vitikno Misukan, meaning if a person would transgress and would take Meiser off when they're not supposed to on Shabbos, it would still be considered fixed and it would not be a problem of Muksa. Rashi over here says, "Hakamash Malon the Tevel Muchanu Lahachi Nakat Gabe Shabbos." The reason why our Mishnah specifically talks about Shabbos, Lashmin and Milsach Risi, it's to teach us something else. Agav Urche along the way. The Itzrich Lefluge Bahachana Tana Nami Ha Bahadei De Veshar Shnei Shavua Eino Aser Mishes Minon Ela Mishal Meiser Bolvad. What we're trying to say is, in other times, in other years, the only Isser is Meiser. Aval Achana Isa, but the designation is a good designation. Shem Ba Adam Echad VeAvar VeTikno. Meaning, if a person would come and transgress and take off Meiser Mesukan, it would be considered to be Mesukan. Umutar Lechol, and you'd, you'd, you'd be allowed to eat from it. Velo Amrina Lo Mahan Yolei Hazmana Calls Man Shalom Niskan. Maybe you're going to say that if I do a designation, Designation, but if it's if it's already tevel, so then it's going to be a problem. The designation won't work. It's muksa because of the iser tevel. He's not thinking that he's going to eat it. So that's what the missionary is teaching us. Since on a doraisa level, you're allowed to take off truma and meiser and shabbos. So the chiddush of this mission is there's no problem of muksa machmas iser. And we see this from our Mishnah. Because what does it say in, our, in the Mishnah? It says that you can go by the storage lechatchil on a shemitah year. And we're, there's no iser on other years as well. Here's what it means. What we're just saying is that other years you shouldn't do this. Because there's going to be a kvias and there's a chiv of meiser. And the Next day is going to eat it as tevel. The svira lay latana the iser muksa nami lo pakamine. Now, if over here the tana held there was also an iser, an iser muksa, hachi have a lay It should have said as follows: Ha omed ala muksa erev shabbos b'shvi. One who stands over the storage erev shabbos in a shemitah year. V'yomer mikan and yochel machan. He says I'm going to eat from this tomorrow. Harez zemin amuchan. It should have said that's considered muchan. V'daikin and mine. Then we could have inferred ha b'shar shnei shavu eno muchan that in other years it's not muchan. So, but over here it doesn't say it in that language. So it's Sounds like it's not a problem of muchan; it's just a problem of taking off meiser. Inami omed adam ala muksa erev shabbos v'shvius, or you could have learned it like this: a person can stand over the storage erev shabbos of a shemitah year. V'yomer mikan ani yochel amochan; he's going to say, "I'm going to eat from here tomorrow." V'hareizem in amuchan, and again you say this is considered muchan. V'daikin aminot. Then we would make a diok habishar shnei shavuay in amuchan. Then in other years it's not muchan. Avol hashda, but now the way it was taught lo shaminan midiyuka denitzer mishamuksa. There's 
there's nothing you could say from this Mishnah that implies that there's an Isra Muks over here. Elamisha Meiser, the only issue is that you're not supposed to take off Meiser on Shabbos, so other years it's a problem because you can't take off Meiser. We'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daflam and Hey Amid Aleph.